You're going to love this super easy craft project with Brittany Young from the popular Certified Celebrator blog. For under five bucks and just a few minutes of time, you can make these personalized welcome mats for your home, maybe even as a Mother's Day gift. Yes, Wouldn't that be fun? It would be. I love to decorate for all of the holidays and seasons, and so the DIY rugs are the perfect way to yeah. do that. And for pretty inexpensively. And look, if you're giving it as a gift, you could roll it up and put a fun bow on it. So the tag. Isn't that cute? Those are great. Everyone decorates with a front door mat, and if you don't, it would be a fun way or a fun treat. So this is a striped one, and I just chose some of my favorite colors, and I use the plants that are around my front door, and I try to coordinate my wreaths and that sort of thing, just with very simple stripes. That's so cute. Yes, and we this love, one I love the watermelon. Isn't that adorable? And I have seen some watermelon rugs at other places, but they were a lot more than just the $4, $5 that it cost me to make this one. Yeah, so where do you find these mats? So I found these mats at Trees and Trends. They were $3.99. I've also seen them at Target. Um, I've heard that they're at Big Lots, so I think they're pretty common. Um, they're just basic. There's no design on them, so really the opportunities are endless. Great. So I'm going to show you how to do some lettering. So if you wanted to add your last name or customize the gift, I'm just going to do hello today. But I picked up just a really inexpensive stencil from a craft store, and I cut the letters apart so that I could place them where I wanted to. And this one's going to say hello. Will you help me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's use the bright teal. And my trick for a stencil is... We're um, doing the whole thing teal? We're going to do the every letter teal. Or okay. what do you think? Do you want to do something I more I was kind of thinking purple and pink since you Well, let's do it. You want to? Yeah, let's okay. do it. All right. I'll okay. do purple here. All right. I'll do a little, let's do pink on the O. So I have a trick when it comes to stencils. Sometimes crafters, they don't like to use stencils because you see bleeding underneath the stencil sometimes. But my trick for this is you can use a sponge brush, a regular brush, but to take your stencil and actually start from the stencil and move down and onto the letter. And you can see that some of the letters even have a bridge. And um, I just take the stencil up and paint through the bridge so you can't tell that it's a stencil. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So this is giving you a guide. And once it dries, yes. if you need to clean up the edges or whatever. Right. So just use it as a guide. You can always take the stencil off and make the paint even brighter with a second coat. Um, you can straighten up the edges a little bit. But yes, you're right. This just kind of gives you something to follow. Um, I love these rugs because you can roll them up and you could paint the back side. You could have reversible oh, yeah. rugs. So whereas we have like a watermelon, that would be cute all summer long. But imagine a pumpkin on the back side. Wouldn't mm -hmm. that be fun? That would be cute. All right. And so once we're done with all of these, um, you're going to spray them with something to kind of keep yes. them protected, right? So I did choose an outdoor paint. This is called patio paint, um, and it is good for outdoor. I think it will be fine, but I go back and I seal it with just a top coat spray paint. Um, you can find it in the spray paint section at any hardware store, um, just a couple dollars. But I spray it just so that if you have wet shoes and you walk over top, you really are just kind of locking in the colors. Yeah. So that's all that does. Nice. Isn't it so fun? This is fun and, and super easy. So if you're buying stencils, you can buy them in all kinds of different sizes and stuff like that, but they only have one letter for each letter of the alphabet. Right. So that's why you're having to move the L. So I'm going to move the L over. Um, and then I always start, I'll give you a little tip. If you're worried about running out of space, and this is trial and error because I did run out of space this weekend, I always start with the double letter. So like the L, hello has two L's, and then start on the back and paint your way over so that make, you make sure you don't run out right. of space. Well, and I think you space it too by starting in the center too. Yes, yeah. yes, you could do the center as well. So cool. isn't that so adorable? Oh, I love it. This mm -hmm. is, I mean, that's fast too. So fast. It's a really easy project and it's a way to spruce up your front porch and add a little curb appeal for under $5. I love it as a gift too. Yes. I think that's such a great idea. Yes. Make something special for mom, maybe right. with a family name. Or, or like maybe a wedding anniversary. You could put their last name. You could oh, customize yeah. it in all sorts of ways. Good idea. So fun. Yes, Brittany, thank I you. love it. I love how you coordinated your paint to your outfit too. <laughs> I always and have the to nail match. polish, right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> all right, well, you can get the step-by-step -step instructions on Brittany's blog at Certified Self. Celebrator.com. Such fun. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.